You've heard of paleo, keto, and vegan diets, and these diets all have their individual merits. But there are a lot of diets that have come and gone that are completely bonkers. I'm going to count them down on this video, and at the end I'll give you my suggestions on how to eat right for your skin and your overall health. What do you think about taking your favorite food, like maybe a burger or a slice of pizza, and putting it on a plate in front of you, savoring its aromas, and then you pretend to pick it up, put it in your mouth, taste it, chew it, eat it, and swallow? Well, this is called the air diet, and it's this idea that if you go through the motions of eating without actually eating your food, that you will become satiated and satisfied by it. This stupid Ew. diet has you actually going through the motions of eating, but not actually eating. What? Why? And so the idea is that by not eating, you're not going to be ingesting calories, and hey, you can lose weight. So theoretically, this can definitely work because your caloric intake will be lower, but how painful is that to have your food right there and not be able to actually eat it? Well, there are a lot of great diets where you can actually eat tasty, delicious food that is nutritious for you, and if you want, you can lose weight while doing it. So do not bother with the air diet. It's just plain stupid. There are so many diets that have come and gone that are based off of one food being a supposed miracle food. Now, some of these diets have actually been supported and promoted by companies making that food itself. Big surprise. So, for example, there is the bananas and skim milk diet. And in this diet, you're supposed to eat six bananas and four glasses of skim milk a day. That is what you eat per day. Not surprisingly, this diet was popularized by the American Fruit Company back in the 1930s. And if you haven't heard of that company before, it's because it has morphed into another company called the Dole Company. Yes, the company that grows and sells millions of bananas every year. You may have also heard of the Grapefruit Diet, and this was a diet very popular in Hollywood for a while as a way to very quickly lose some pounds and slim down. In the grapefruit diet, you limit your diet to basically grapefruit and black coffee. I'm guessing you're not a half grapefruit and black coffee man. Now, both of these foods are very healthy foods, but where's the protein and where's the fat? In the ice cream diet, you limit your calories to 1,250 calories a day, and you add a scoop of ice cream on top of that, increasing your calories to 1,500. Well, I like ice cream, but come on, this is just ridiculous. There's also the cabbage soup diet, the lemonade diet, the apple cider vinegar diet, and so many others. If you're thinking about a miracle food type of diet, remember this fact, is that if your diet is based off of just one specific food, it's probably not a good diet. The Sleeping Beauty diet is definitely not endorsed by Disney. In the Sleeping Beauty diet, whenever you feel hungry and you want to eat, you're supposed to take a nap. Essentially, you're supposed to sleep off your hunger, and the idea is that when you're sleeping, you're not eating, and so it helps you to lose weight. Eating and sleep are closely connected, you know. Yes, it's true that you can lose weight while you're sleeping, and it is so important to get at least six to eight hours of sleep every night for a healthy body. But the crazy thing is, is some people doing the Sleeping Beauty diet would sleep upwards of 20 hours a day. So getting good sleep is essential for your health, but not as a way to eat less. This diet was invented by a Dr. Horace mm -hmm. Fletcher who used to say, nature will castigate those who don't masticate. He was a prominent doctor back in the 1800s who believed that you must chew your food at least 100 times before swallowing. And in addition to helping you lose weight, he claimed that by chewing your food 100 times, it made your toots smell better. Now, Mark Twain and Thomas Edison both tried this diet, and Dr. Ricky Brown's wife has asked him to try this diet as well. Now, there's actually some truth to it being good for your health to eat more slowly. It is not healthy to scarf down your food like Homer Simpson. Bye-bye, belt! <sighs>
But having to chew each bite of food 100 times is completely unnecessary. Now, I suppose you could lose weight by doing this diet because you're going to get tired of eating pretty quickly if you have to chew 100 times before swallowing. But still, having to chew that many times is just not necessary. Have you ever thought about taking a collagen supplement but weren't sure about whether they actually worked to support your health and improve the appearance of your skin? Collagen is the building block of our skin, and one reason why our skin ages is due to loss of collagen. A recent meta-analysis of over 1,100 participants found that taking a daily hydrolyzed collagen supplement improved the appearance of aging of the skin. And it did this by reducing wrinkles and improving skin elasticity and hydration. For this reason, I believe that taking a daily collagen supplement is a great way to support your skin's appearance and its health. And my favorite one is my Yoon Health Supplemental Collagen. It's taste-free and easily dissolves into your hot coffee or tea. I like to mix it with smoothies or into my acai bowl. Check it out at yoonbeauty.com and use the coupon code 20OFF to get $20 off your first order over $99. I'm so certain that you'll love my Yoon Health Supplemental Collagen that we have a money back guarantee. So far the diets that I've covered have been pretty silly, but they're not necessarily dangerous. This is the first diet that is truly dangerous for your health. Dangerous food that does not have human emotion. The cotton ball diet has been recently popularized on YouTube, and essentially what people do is that instead of eating food, they believe it or not, eat cotton balls. And if you want to add some flavor to the cotton balls, people recommend dipping it in uh, fruit juice or in smoothies. Now this is a really, really bad idea. Cotton balls are not digestible, so if you eat cotton balls, they can get stuck in your stomach or intestines and cause an obstruction. And the way that we treat obstructions is we put a tube down your nose, down to your stomach to suck out any fluids, and sometimes we have to literally cut your abdomen open to remove that blockage. This is no fun, so do not do the cotton ball diet. It will only lead to horrible health problems. Believe it or not, there was a time when cigarette companies would advertise smoking cigarettes as being good for your health and a great way to lose weight. I mean, seriously, there are tons of advertisements that you'll see right here that do promote this terrible idea. Why not change to camels for the next 30 days and see what a difference it makes in your smoking enjoyment? There are even doctors who would promote smoking cigarettes as a healthy practice. And I hear stories from old surgeons all the time of surgeons operating on patients, stepping out of the operating room and smoking right outside of the operating room and then going back in to perform surgery. Time out for many men of medicine usually means just long enough to enjoy a cigarette. They're particular about the brand they choose. Well, there are a lot of healthy ways to lose weight, and smoking is definitely not one of them. So believe it or not, smoking is number two. So what could be the absolute worst way to lose weight? In the tapeworm diet, you ingest a pill that contains a tapeworm egg. The tapeworm then hatches, it attaches to the inside of your intestines, and then it feeds on the food that you eat that goes through your intestines. I swallowed a tapeworm last night. It's going to grow up to three feet inside of me, and then it eats all my food so that I don't get fat. Now tapeworms can grow to be upwards of 50 feet long and can stay inside of you for 25 to 30 years. And while it's inside of you, it can lay eggs, it can burrow through your intestines, and even go to other parts of your body, like your brain. Now the good news is that it is illegal to buy and sell tapeworms inside the United States. However, this can be done and is being done in other countries around the world. And there are literally thousands of people who are doing the tapeworm diet as you watch this video today. So instead of these dangerous diets, what do I recommend you eat? Well, I made a video that's linked right up here called What to Eat to Look Younger. And it's my recommendations on what to eat to turn back the clock and to get healthy skin. 
And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.